what's going on everyone welcome back to cruising the south and if you're new to the channel a big welcome here cruising the south we try to share all the good experiences that we have with the boat but also all the bad you know and all the maintenance and stuff that we do to the boat so if you're not subscribed yet consider subscribing and a big welcome and so uh today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys uh the fact that i changed the carburetor on one of my engines right so uh it was a mistake that i did you know once i was rebuilding the old one i went to put a fitting back on and i didn't have it right before i tried to tighten it and it was already a little existing crack on it and it finished cracking you know the, the crack ran so therefore i kind of ruined my old uh, carburetor so um, i went and i put a new one there and um i'm sus i have a suspicion that uh, my choke is too closed so i'm gonna open it up right now both carburetors and see how they look and uh let's go check it out so let's figure it out together okay so like i think i said uh I just installed this brand new uh, Eldo Brock 1410 marine carburetor on this engine, right? And uh, this is the one that it was the same one that was there, but this one's a 1406, so it's really like a, a car um, carburetor, right? But when I bought the boat, it came with it, and she always ran the uh, grade. The only reason why I upgrade these ones because I was rebuilding the last one, and uh, when I went to put the fitting back in here. I uh, tightened a little too much and I, there was a little crack over here already that expanded, right? So I kind of destroyed my last one. So I installed this one and now when I turn the boat on, everything works great as soon as she warms up. But right before she warms up, this engine feels like, uh, you know, stumbling a little bit. It doesn't really like until she's like somewhat warm. So I'm thinking she's too choked up. So uh, I'm going to open both of these carburetors and take a look in there and see if that's what's going on. Let's take a quick look okay so it looks like i'm going the right path this is one of the greatest thing about having two engines one next to the other so if one of them is acting up you can compare to the other one right so um this is the one that i have not touched it as you can see how see how much the choke is open they these engines have not been started yet so they're like cold cold now when i come in i look on this one look completely closed so i think that's you know i was i was going the right direction you know the reason why she's like too um stumbling when i first turn her on till she warms up is because my choke's completely choked closed so um see i'm gonna open try to mimic that one and see if that uh, uh does the trick and then we'll try to start her up together and see how it goes now see that's my choke right there i gotta unscrew those little uh, screws and like i can move the choke around and you know for as much as i want to be opened right there I know that you know some people put like a, a, a the thickness of a, a business card, but you know I'm literally just gonna follow that one right there and see because this one starts great. She she don't hesitate at all. This one she starts too, but like I said, you know, acting up. So let's try that out. Right, so these three screws in total, I already loosened two. Now it's just this one right here. See, they're not very tight at all, you know, they're just holding like these tensioners in. So now, let's spin that up. And I should be able to get... Alright. So I don't know if you guys can see the movement. Let's see, I'm moving it that way. Okay, that was a little bit too much. Right there is good, that's where I want it. You know, maybe just a little bit more. Right there. Now I'm gonna try that. Let's see how it goes. Now I just gotta tie these screws back up and uh, let's see how it goes, right? Tight again. See, look, I left it. It's actually like still a little bit less than that one, but you know, I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna put the flame arresters back on and let's crank it up and see what happens. All right, let me go crank the key. I don't expect her to turn on right away because she's been sitting for several days, but uh, yeah, let's see how she starts after, after the um, choke being adjusted. I think 
by that right there, I think I opened it a little too much. You might like it a little bit less, but uh, let's give it another shot. Actually, now I don't know. That started pretty good. But see, right after the key, the engine cranked, see, she went to normal working condition, right? Where before she would like kind of, you know, like I didn't like it the way it sound. Even though she gave me a little bit trouble to start, I still like it better than the what, what it was. So um, I think I can close the choke a little bit, but I'm gonna ride it out the way it is until I know for sure. But, um, See, once she cranked, she went normal operations uh, condition. So I liked it. You know, to, before it was too choked up, so it worked. Now uh, I'm gonna turn it off and crank it again. See what happens. All right, I like it. I'm gonna leave it like this. And uh, if I am to touch it again, I'll make another video about it, you know, the, the, the continue on this. Now, so thank you everybody. Thank you for checking in. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. I'm about to make a video on my non-start situation on that engine that I had. A little stupid piece could have made me chase my tail for days. So thank you for watching and I see you guys in the next episode.